from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. A former police officer from Nesquahoning was sentenced this afternoon to 3 to 23 months in prison for his involvement in a crash that killed a woman. 27-year-old Stephen Hamenko caused the crash while pursuing another vehicle on duty back in March of 2014. 69-year-old Carola Sowers died in the crash and her husband Michael was seriously injured. State police at Lehigh and said Hamenko was traveling at speeds of over 110 miles per hour on Route 209 when he hit Sauer's vehicle. Hamenko pleaded guilty back in September to a third-degree felony for homicide by vehicle, a second-degree misdemeanor for reckless endangerment, and summary offenses. Hamenko will be eligible for house arrest at the warden's discretion after serving one and a half months of his sentence. He will then be placed on immediate probation after serving his full sentence. A section of Interstate 80 eastbound near Whitehaven was shut down Tuesday after two tractor trailers and a sport utility vehicle crashed on the Lehigh River Bridge. The accident happened just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon and the three vehicles were entangled near a steep drop 100 feet over the Lehigh River. Traffic was backed up for hours following the crash. Emergency responders on scene had to engage in a rope rescue. The man on the one truck was rescued from the front windshield and was placed in a harness to bring him over the hood of the truck. The driver of the other truck was able to exit from the passenger side of the cab. Valley Regional and State Police assisted at the scene. No one was injured and State Police are continuing to investigate that crash. An accident this morning in Hazleton left one business without power and traffic restricted on parts of Route 309. It happened at Church and Magnolia Streets a quarter to 10 this morning. The driver of the vehicle who crashed his Chevy sedan into a pole was taken by ambulance to the hospital after complaining of pain. The utility pole did not appear to sustain damage from the crash. However, it appeared that a transformer on top of the pole was damaged and PPL Electric Utilities was there to inspect it. Emergency crews said there was also a report of smoke in ultimate finish because of the utility pole. A surge of electrical power damaged several surge protectors inside the business. Power was expected to be back around 1 o'clock this afternoon. There was a bomb threat near the arena around 8.30 last night. Authorities have released very few details, but it appears a suspicious package was found in the PNC Bank Branch office along Highland Park Boulevard near Mundy Street in Wilkesbury Township. The bank was evacuated, as were several businesses nearby. The bomb squad from Scranton was called and were on scene within minutes. However, whether they detonate, detonated the package isn't clear. The emergency was over and the scene was cleared by 10 o'clock last night. Well, after years of planning and construction, a flood wall in Columbia County is finally completed. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. After a little over four years of construction, the Bloomsburg flood wall is finally complete. The wall is located at West 5th and Railroad Street and is a little over a mile long. Construction on the wall started in July of 2012, but discussion of the wall began decades ago because of the constant flooding the section of town sees. The wall was completed with the assistance of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, and the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, Pima. Columbia County Commissioner Dave Kovach explains why the flood wall was needed. Fortunately, this area, this whole area is flood prone. Every time it rains, this it gets it. If you were not familiar with why the Bloomsburg flood wall was built, you would probably assume that it was built to either protect the fair or the town, but the wall was actually built to protect Otto Neum, one of the area's largest employers. Protecting 700 direct jobs at the building right behind us, Otto, Otto Neum. Uh, they are a nationwide producer of uh, automobile carpet and uh, mats. Oh, uh, it was so important, that's why we got the money, because of the number of jobs and how big of an effect they have nationwide. Kovach tells us how the flood wall project was funded. The help of uh, Senator Casey, Congressman Barletta, on a, on a federal part, uh, that's where we got the $15 million with, uh, with their help. And EDA was the, was the funder. Uh, they came up and visited. We went down and visited with them and made our case. Uh, this was the largest uh, project that EDA out of the Philadelphia office has funded. And he $12 million 
from the state came from H2O money and Senator John Gordner and Representative Dave Millard helped us with, with that. There is actually talk of areas of Bloomsburg adding on to the flood wall. Because of what we've done here, as soon as this is uh, certified or accredited, uh, the Bloomsburg School District and the town of Bloomsburg are already in talks of adding on to our project. So that will enable them to protect the school and some additional uh, private residences. In Bloomsburg for WILN News, I'm Aaron Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. PNC Bank is closing two branch offices. Those in Freeland and Wyoming will close following the close of business Friday, November 18th. PNC says the Freeland branch office is being consolidated with the office in Whitehaven, while the Wyoming branch is being consolidated with the one in Plains Township. It hasn't said whether anyone will be forced out of a job. PNC says the banking business is increasing moving online, noting that 57% of its customers are digital. There was a surge in voter registrations leading up to Tuesday's deadline. Statewide, there were 23,000 online registrations by midnight's cutoff. The in-person deadline was 4.30 Tuesday afternoon. While there are no specific numbers, most of the 67 county election bureaus report a rush. The Commonwealth says there were 300,000 registrants in the last three weeks. This was a good year for Republicans. The party added just under 123,000 new Republican registrants this year. The Democrats lost 109,000, but the state is still blue. 49% of voters are registered Democrats, 38% are Republicans, and 13% are registered independents and or with third parties. A jury has been seated for the wrongful termination trial of former Penn State assistant coach Mike McQuarrie. A jury of nine women and three men were selected. Testimony gets underway Monday in Center County Court in Belfont. McQuarrie is suing Penn State for $4 million. He was fired in the wake of the Jerry Sandusky scandal a few years ago. State police in Hazleton are on the lookout for a teenage girl they are calling a runaway. 15-year-old Gabrielle Elizabeth Dakin was last seen on Tuesday around 2.45 in the area of the Hazleton Area Career Center. Police say she is described as a female with red hair and braces. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighs approximately 110 pounds. She was last seen wearing a gray shirt, black pants, black boots, and a black jacket. Anyone with information on her whereabouts is asked to call state police in Hazleton at 570-459-3890 or dial 911. Halloween is right around the corner, and WYLN and Penny's Classified have a special giveaway. You can call 570-459-1869, extension 1172, for your chance to win tickets to one of the following. Reaper's Revenge in Scranton, Waldorf Estate of Fear in Lehighton, or Fear Grove in Zines Grove. All you need to do is leave your name and number for a chance to win a pair of tickets to one of these haunted attractions. The winners will be announced on Tuesday, October 18th on WYLN's Evening and Late Editions. And as always, good luck. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Another sunny and chilly fall day here in northeastern Pennsylvania, but it seems like all we can expect is rain tomorrow. WYLN's Gary Perna is in for Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic tonight and is in the Weather Center with all the details. Gary? Well, and you're right, we can expect rain in your forecast, but today started off uh, kind of gloomy today and it got to a nice warm fall day. But what can we expect and how much rain can we see in our area? All those details coming up and what is it going to look like on Friday for Friday Night Football? Well, that for you coming up in just a couple of minutes, Ann. Thanks, Gary. Coming up next, a business is making a move in Schuylkill County to make themselves more visible and accessible to their customers. WYLN was at that special ribbon-cutting ceremony today, plus a school honored those who helped fix up its vandalized playground. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way here on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinis and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. 
We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. Personal cancer care is close to home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton has been providing radiation therapies to cancer patients for 30 years. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer and need radiation therapy and would like to learn more about our treatments, let our compassionate, experienced team of experts help you. No reason to travel out of town for same services that are only minutes away from your home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton. 1701 East Broad Street in Hazleton. Close to home. The Hazleton Chamber of Commerce presents The Tastes of Greater Hazleton, Sunday, October 16th at the Health and Wellness Center in Hazleton from noon until 3. Sample signature dishes and products from a variety of restaurants and area businesses. There will be cooking demonstrations by the Brass Buckle Restaurant, Sand Springs Country Club, and Top of the 80s Restaurant. Tickets are $18 in advance and $20 at the door. Available at hazeltonchamber.org, the Chamber Office, the Standard Speaker, and other various participating businesses. A new office location for a familiar business in Schuylkill County. Allstate Insurance has been in Schuylkill County for well over 50 years and have been serving thousands of customers since. Allstate Insurance moved from Tamaqua to hometown to better serve their customers. Exclusive agent for Allstate Gary McNeil has said this new location has better visibility, better parking, and is more convenient for their clients. This agency has been in, in business for almost 17 years. Um, we have seven full-time employees um, serving customers all over the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, and um, I've been in the business uh, over 30, been with Allstate uh, 26 years, and um, served in, in different capacities with the Allstate Insurance Company. Vanessa Gerhardt, Administrative Assistant for the Tamaqua Chamber of Commerce, said they are excited for Allstate to be moving into a new building. We're very happy to welcome McNeilis Agency to uh, hometown Village Square at 220 Claremont Avenue. And uh, this was a formerly empty building before uh, Pancakes left and it was vacant, so very happy to fill in uh, another business up here at the square. For more information, you can visit allstate.com slash Agency or call them at 570-668-5133. Coming up next, Gary Perna is back in for Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic with a full look at our forecast. Plus, a playground used by several hundred school children was repainted and spruced up last week. And today, the dedicated team who worked on the project were honored by the school. All that and more, plus sports with Eric DiBerardinis is coming your way here on WYLN. Stay tuned. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. It's Oktoberger. The sale's so big they named a month after it. At Burger, Chrysler, Jeep Dodge Ram, Route 93, Hazel Township. It's Oktoberger, and you can save $11,000 on select Ram 1500. Save $7,000 on this Cherokee Limited. Save $6,000 on this 2017 Dodge Journey. It's the Jeep Celebration event at Ram Power Days. At Burger, Chrysler, Jeep Dodge Ram, Route 93, Hazel Township. Burger Family Dealerships. Drive with experience. Physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Well, 
looking back and you know today was a great day to be outside i hope you got to go out and enjoy it and tonight it's not looking too bad either nice clear sky above us here at the yln studios as we're outside in the weather center let me tell you something if you're going for a walk tonight maybe get the dog out uh maybe you're going somewhere a light jacket's all you're really going to need for tonight but those temperatures overnight are certainly going to be a lot colder and as we get later into week and football friday you're going to want to pack some, uh, well, maybe some extra long underwear, maybe some thick socks and uh, a couple hoodies, maybe even a winter jacket. Let's take a look at today's uh, numbers, though, first in the graphic. Temperature right now, 59 degrees. We have a wind coming out of the east-southeast, not looking too bad. The one good thing is, of course, no rain today, but we're not going to be able to say that for tomorrow or tomorrow. We are going to see some rain move into our area. Moving on to the stats for the day, high of 61 degrees, a low of 42. We reached that high about 3.16 this afternoon. It was pretty cold this morning, 42 at about 3.53 in the morning. Most of us were still asleep. Wind gust today of 16, so not looking too bad of a day. A nice fall day for us here in the greater Hazleton area and beyond. Taking a look statewide, current temperature is not looking too bad either. Uh, right now, pretty much across the state of, of Pennsylvania, not too bad. 59, 60s, uh, 69 down in uh, Philadelphia, 67 in Sealands Grove. Not too bad today, and it's really going to be this way for most of the time. However, we're going to see some rain move into tomorrow, which is going to put a damper on a lot of activities for some people. The wind speeds, though, across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, not too bad today. We saw some gusts throughout the area, but the wind speeds were not that bad. Uh, 10 out in Bradford, 7 in Mount Pocono, 8 out in Williamsport. So some of the higher elevations saw a little bit more, but Philadelphia pretty much calm, so not looking too bad. Your seven-day forecast here, all right, we're going to see the rain tomorrow. So we're going to see some showers, a high of 60 degrees, though. Friday, okay, let's see, partly, or excuse me, mostly sunny at 58 degrees. But look at Friday night. It's going to get down to 35 degrees. So as those football games are wrapping up, uh, you're going to notice it's starting to get cold. So you may want to hit that concession stand up for some hot chocolate and coffee. Uh, I would dress warm going out to the game. Saturday and Sunday not looking too bad, partly sunny or mostly sunny most of the time. 59, 64. Overnight lows not too bad. We're going to see some uh, thunderstorms on Monday. Tuesday, morning showers, and of course Wednesday, partly sunny. So again, not looking too bad right now. Uh, we look forward to something this weekend. Stay with us. More news is headed your way right after this. Since 2001, Hazelton Imaging has been offering the best care. A staff that is kind and courteous and a radiologist on site. Hazelton Imaging is less expensive than most hospitals and they offer self-pay pricing. Call Hazelton Imaging today at 570-501-SCAN. This Halloween season, get ready to feel pure, real, Waldorf is State of Fear, where your nightmares become reality. Open every Friday and Saturday in October. The Wilsey Center presents Nick as Elvis, Legends Never Die. Local performer Nick Mastician is back for his Broadway-style show featuring costume changes, a narrator, and motion clips of Elvis. Doors open at 6.30, show starts at 7. Tickets are on sale for $10 at Boscos and the Melfi School of Music, plus tickets are also available at the door. Come see Nick as Elvis Thursday, October 13th at the Wiltsey Center on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Just last week, members from Lowe's in West Hazleton took the time to fix up the Arthur Street Playground. Today, teachers from Arthur Street School want to do something special for them in return. WYLN's Abby Piskel has the details. Each year, company-wide, Lowe's allots a certain amount of money to their stores to do a community project. This year, in conjunction with the City of Hazleton's project to fix up city parks, members of Lowe's worked to restore parts of the Arthur Street playground. Today, faculty and staff of Arthur Street thanked the Lowe's crew and the City of Hazleton by hosting a special luncheon. We're having this organization, this, this luncheon, um, for the people who worked at Lowe's, our Lowe's volunteers, we call them our heroes, they came 
out of the goodness of their hearts and they r redid our playground basically. They made it safer. They, they built um, picnic benches and painted and made it safer because they adopted our playground because we have a school here and we utilize it a great deal. So they came and just beautified it and we are having this luncheon just to show our gratitude for everything they have done and the, the children made them thank you cards just to give back. They gave to us, we're giving to them and just showing what what respect is in how to take care of property. We made a whole lesson out of it today. So I think hopefully they leave today, the children, learning what goodness looks like and how to do good things and kind things for other people. First grade teacher Lisa Yurek, who had a part in organizing the luncheon, said that the volunteers and everyone who had a part in fixing up the Arthur Street Playground are superheroes and their superpower is their heart. Well, I was trying to make it somehow relatable, but I had to make a heart, and I said, these people up here, they're superpower, they're superheroes, heroes, and they, um, they, they don't have capes, but they have a big heart, and with a big heart, you can do so many good, great things. So they made their own little heart, and I told them that that's like their superpowers, and they can go and do great things with that big heart. Last week, we spoke with electrical department manager Ed McDonough, who helped work on the project, and today he told us how special the ceremony and luncheon was to him. Honestly, um, when, I, when I was up on stage, it almost brought a tear to my eye. I really wasn't expecting all this today. Um, it's very beautiful. I'm, I'm very proud of what we did for them and how they thanked us for this. This is just amazing altogether. The Arthur Street Playground is just one playground that the city of Hazleton was working on fixing, and they reached out to the community for help. Uh, right now, the city can't really afford to do all the playgrounds themselves, so we reached out to businesses and groups that would be willing to uh, partake in projects like this, and Lowe's stepped up and did a wonderful job. Giving back to the community is something that warms the heart of those who work at Lowe's, and they were happy to take part in the project, and the kids were happy to have a nice playground. I want to say it was really nice, and I, and I will keep it that way. Thank you for creating our playground. They did a good job doing that. Thank you. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, Eric D. Baradinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Gary Perno will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. When you're looking for a new or used car, truck, or SUV, the Heighton Kia is the place to go. They showcase a variety of vehicles, like the totally transformed Soul and the eye-catching Cadenza, the Kia Optima, not your average mid-size sedan, the Forte lineup, including the Coupe and popular five-door, the Sorento and Sportage, with a bold array of features. Ask about specials and incentives, and you can't beat the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. The Heighton Kia, 21 Blakesley Boulevard, the Heighton. Call them at 610-377-1570. Get ready for a frightening good time from Penny's Classified and WYLN. Call 570-459-1869, extension 1110, and enter your name and phone number to win a pair of tickets to one of these scary Halloween attractions. Reaper's Revenge, Waldorf Estates of Fear, or Fear Grove. Six winners will be chosen and announced on Tuesday, October 18th on WYLN's Evening Edition at 5.30 p.m. and Late Edition at 10 p.m. Reaper's Revenge, not intended for children under 10. If you went to bed early last night, you may have missed a little Joe Madden magic. The Cubs overcame a three-run ninth-inning deficit to defeat the San Francisco Giants. Now, the Hazleton native Madden is back in the National League Championship Series with sights set on much more. As a group, obviously, um, it's two years in a row now that we're getting to this particular level. Um, I think it validates on a lot of different levels um, the job that we've done to this point. I think as if, if you're a player on this particular team or within your organization, uh, it's getting to the point that you won't expect to get to the postseason and you won't expect to get deeply into the postseason. That's a good word. Expectations is a good word and because um, normally it means that you have something good attached to it at the, at the, uh, at the other side. It's pressure expectations. I want our guys to thrive on those two words for the years to come. I want the whole organization to. It's, and again, it, there, that means there's a lot expected of you. Good. 
always a good sign when you have to clean champagne off of your glasses. Chicago could face Los Angeles or Washington in the next round. The Cubbies with a habit of making great plays. The same can be said for our local high school football teams and athletes each Friday. Here are the plays of the week. A few from Hazleton versus Scranton. Typically it's Sparky Walk handing off to Adrian Otero. Here finds him falling down for six. Then the Knights Jared Brown shaky. He bops around and will not be taken down in for the touchdown. Here, Jacob Watts, the Knights quarterback. He's picked off by David Smith. Never mind, that's Damon Horton on the deflection from his own teammate. It's a dual effort on that one. Then Berwick's Damon Backhorn in our game of the week, showing what he can do in the open field. Swerves on the Pittston defender and the tasteful steps into the end zone. And we end in the same game. Anthony Sassini takes this one 90 yards, and reinvents the truck stick in the process. The big boom right there. And those are your plays of the week. Bus trips home feel longer when you lose. Hazleton football has lost every week so far, but especially looking to avoid that feeling during the two hour plus trek to Donegal this week. The Cougars have faced Lackawanna League opponents the past four weeks who are close enough for us to really know about, but the Indians are way down there. So this week's episode of Sports Talk with my, Coach Mike Brennan, he tells us what we need to know about Donegal. Section three, Lancaster 11 and League Section three. Um, they're Kelly Green. Uh, they just built a brand new stadium, new bleachers, new turf, uh, new high school. You know, they are a wing tee. They are a 4-4 defense. Um, you know, they are uh, traditionally about a seven-win team in their conference. Uh, you know, nice athletic, scrappy kids, and uh, they have three wins right now, three and three. This week, our game of the week comes from Mountaintop as Crestwood hosts Hanover area Friday at 7 o'clock. That's it for sports. Stay tuned. Weatherwood is a privately owned 200 bed nursing and rehabilitation center in the quiet town of Weatherly, Pennsylvania. The rehab center offers the highest level of personalized care for your therapy experience. Whispering Meadows is a 50 bed secure dementia unit in our facility. Weatherwood also offers Medicare certified home health care services within the community, including therapies, skilled nursing, and certified nursing assistants. Whether you need short term, long term, or respite stay, call or stop by for a tour. 570-427-8683. It's high school football time. Watch WILN for all the local high school football action as we bring you the event, not just the highlights, like only WILN can. Watch the game of the week right here on WILN. We're your local network. For the best in local sports, watch WILN TV 35. The event, not just the highlights. All right, taking a look at our seven-day forecast, not looking too bad. Tomorrow, though, we are going to have rain. It's going to be 60 degrees, though, so passing showers throughout the day. So just watch for that. You want to take an umbrella with you uh, if you're heading out to work or uh, throughout the day. Friday, not looking too bad, though. 58 degrees. It's going to be mostly sunny, but that overnight low is going to get pretty, uh, pretty cold. So if you're going out to a football game Friday night, you may want to make sure you're dressing a little extra warm because as you're sitting out there in the bleachers, it is going to get, some, it is going to get colder. The weekend, not looking too bad, so you're making plans. Uh, Looks pretty good, so uh, make those plans. Enjoy the nice sun we're going to have. Temperatures not too bad here in the fall, so good time for pumpkin patches and all that fun stuff and trying to not be stuck in the house because we're going to be stuck in the house soon with all the snow and ice and all, all right. that well, fun stuff. Well, that's all right. I guess we'll have to take the yeah. rain tomorrow 
So we have a nice three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Big game, though, for Hazleton. Not really sure what the matchup's going to be like. So yeah. it'll and be interesting. We're, we're already at week eight, which seems hard to believe. Just a few more weeks until that word playoffs. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night, everyone.